Welcome back to Jatai. Today we're going to be doing a Kristen Stewart inspired haircut and she's got a lot of different looks that are that are similar but they're all a little bit different. It looks like she had an undercut that she had grown out so we got a little disconnection from the underneath to the top but not a whole lot and we're going to start with some blade glide that's going to make my razor glide through the hair and cut a lot smoother and a lot easier. Now with this haircut it's really all about the right texture. I mean, and you can't get that texture any other way than with a razor. So I'm going to use my feather styling razor. It's the industry standard and it gives me just a, the nicest, softest kind of cut when I take a large stroke like this. So what I'm really trying to do is take out as much weight as I can as I'm cutting the length. And a really broad stroke is going to allow me to do that. So the first section I'm taking is here in the nape. Uh, occipital bone to mastoid that I'm cutting that down into smaller sections so it's easier to handle. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a thumbs up, and click the notification bell for any kind of future posts. And also leave us a comment for what you'd like to see in the future. Now these sections I'm holding just straight down at, at as much or as close to zero elevation as I can get and just taking a broad stroke to take the weight out and just give me my length. As I start to move up the head, my elevation is gonna change because the haircut that she has is kind of a, 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 a little graduated bob with a, a lot of texture to it. So it almost looks like it's layered, but it's just textured so much that you have a lot of separation to it. So after we get the first sections kind of done like we want, we're going to go through and take our next section, which is going to be parallel to the previous sections that we cut. And that's the elevation that I'm going to hold it out as. It's what's called peak curvature of the head. So as I lift it up, you'll see I'm holding it out just off the, the arc of the head, holding that straight out and just following the head shape for whatever my elevation is, continuing my, my broad light highly texturizing strokes to remove a lot of weight and following the elevation of the head. Now as I elevate each section, if I lift the section too high, you're going to see the roots kind of relax and get spongy. If I hold the section too low, you'll see the section at the roots curve across the head. So a lot of times you'll see me kind of wiggle the hair up and down just to make sure that I have the right elevation. Make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms at Tie Feather. We got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the newest is the TikTok. So please check that out. This is the elevation that I'm going again. I can lay the comb right at the parting and it will show me the exact elevation that I'm supposed to have. And then I'll just go through with a broad stroke around the lengths that I want. Cutting that long stroke, soft against the hair. I'm not using a lot of pressure. I'm allowing the sharpness of the blade to cut the hair, not me pressuring the razor against the hair to cut it. My next section as we work around into the sides, same sort of methodology. We're just going to continue that sectioning and that elevation, following it around. Now, depending upon the thickness of the hair, I could go through and take a broad stroke like I'm taking here because my mannequin head has quite a lot of hair, or I could tighten up the stroke if I didn't need to uh, remove that much weight from the ends if I wanted to keep the shape a little more solid. But this, this doll head has a grip of hair, so we're trying to remove a lot from the ends so it makes the ends nice and airy. I could also go through and channel internally deeper if I wanted to remove more weight, which we'll determine later on. Just continuing to follow my line all the way around the front. Now around the front on these mannequin heads, they do get kind of thick. So I'll probably go through and take some more weight around the front, out. But you know, this is just like an exercise cutting on a, a real human's head. Some sections are going to be thicker and some are going to be thinner. Now this is the elevation that I'm supposed to use, but I'm actually going to elevate it lower off the uh, curve of the parietal ridge, not off the top of the head. That's going to give me a little bit more of a graduated shape as opposed to going into layering. 
Once I go above the roll part of the head and start getting into the top of the head, if I continue to elevate it all the way up like that, then I'm going to end up with a round shape. And I still want to keep a little bit of a corner in this, so I'm elevating the top sections at the same elevation that I held the parietal ridge at. Now here you'll see I'm taking a little bit more weight out of it internally by channel cutting it because this hair is just getting really thick on top. Here you can see a good view of that. Take a little bit, look at it, take a little bit more if you need to. Just modify your approach according to the hair that you're working on. Just fine tuning there around the front, taking a little bit more weight out there by point cutting, tipping internally, channel cutting. I like to take a little bit, look at it, and then add more if I need to. So make sure to check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of great content over there covering all different types of stuff. Barbering, haircutting, styling. Check it out. I think you'll like it. And here is our end result. I think it looks pretty good. It took me a little while to get the texture right, but I think it does well with the inspo pictures. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.